components, the core concept of React, functions that are capitalized that do some JavaScript functionality and then return some JSX. JSX is React's version of HTML. To be a React component, it needs to be capitalized and then return some JSX, like this button. To render a component, go into app.jsx, import the component you just made, and then type it like this. And now you've rendered a button. If I want three buttons, I could take this, I could copy it, paste it twice, save it, now we have three buttons. Props, a way to customize your components. To access props, make a props argument in your component function. This props argument is an object here. Let's display one called props.text like this. To specify the props that you want, pass them in whenever you render them. So let's go to our app.jsx file. Let's make a new prop and button called text. And we're just going to pass in a string, say hello, save it, and now our button says hello. Events, user triggered events, specified by tags like on click or on change. Pass them in on a tag where you want the event to happen. For instance, we're passing it in on this button here. On click runs whenever it is clicked. Here we have an on click property inside the button that just console logs whenever it is clicked. State, a way to hold data in your components created by the useState function from React. Always create state like this. First term you have here is the state name. Second term here is the function that sets the state. And then the value inside the useState function is the value the state is initialized with. If we combine state with events, we can change the state variable called count every time we click a button by using the state setter function. Use effect, React function that handles effects of a page, takes in two arguments, a function, and then an array. The array specifies when to run the use effect function. Anytime any values in the array are modified, use effect runs. The function inside the use effect is what actually runs whenever it is triggered. Here we're just watching for an count changes and then just console logging it. If the use effect array is empty, it will just run on initial page load and not when the component re-renders. Map function, used to display an array of things, can only be called on an array. In our case, we are calling it on an array called animals. It's like a for loop. Need to pass in a function to map and need to have an argument that represents each individual element, in our case, animal. At each element, you can return some JSX like button or header tag. In this case, we're returning header two, which just prints out dog, cat, horse. Conditional rendering, used to render some JSX based on a condition. You can use the turn error operator using the question mark and colon. All this is saying here is if this is true, render this. If it is false, render this. Right now it's false, so it displays this. If I made it true instead, it would now display this. Another way you can do it is just by writing the conditional double and symbols and then whatever component you want to display. 